pick what you care about. Unless you're like practicing a skill where you're actually trying to learn it. And, and, you know, I guess in some ways you could say, well, if someone's really afraid of competition, then maybe they should just sign up for a whole bunch of things they don't even care about. You know, sign up for a checkers tournament, sign up for a golf tournament. You don't know how to play either one of them. That's fine. You're just actually going to go through and see what other people are doing. If it's more a sort of, you know, like I was talking about, it was too important for me to risk the competition. Then again, resetting the goals, finding some small opportunities and, you know, organizations like Toastmasters does the, everybody has to speak all the time. You guys have regular, we're going to have a speech and a thing and it's not a one shot. So giving people that, and then, you know, just like I used the, the challenge as a checklist, right? Be very specific about what is the goal you're going to get out of this competition. And then you find out afterwards, this, did I get it? What was the goal? I mean, that I think in terms of what's effective, again, thinking about outcome, novices don't want competition. If you're just learning something just now, I, I'm just trying to find out the rules here. I don't, I don't even know if I like this. So don't put me in a competitive environment. The elite performers their competition is really themselves, right? You know, your, your Olympian has already, who's already had six or seven gold medals is saying, well, yeah, but this is for my place in history. This is me beating my own world record. I don't care about anybody else. I'm focused on what, what can I do? They're, they're useful, they're reference points on how I'm doing in the moment, but my goal is really what pushing myself to a new level. And it's those intermediate people who aren't sure of their ability and aren't sure that's where competition, things like trophies and medals become that really important because that's when they're really trying to figure out, am I good at this? What can I do? So I think figuring out where you are in your skill level is important. And then what's the most effective also matters. So for a novice, you know, did you live through this? Cool. Yay. Go team. That may be what you're looking for. A novice, the most effective feedback is positive feedback, pointing out what you did right. You actually are an improvement. Velocity feedback is the scientific term of art. And it's the rate of improvement. You still sucked. You still are at the very bottom. You did not win, but you're still 200% better than you were last week. Right? So velocity feedback is really important. Your elite performer, don't tell an Olympian velocity feedback because they may be taking four years to shave off a half a millisecond off of their time. And velocity feedback, how they improve from one day to the next may be crushing to them. So for them, they actually do want to know, how did I place? Was I better than everybody else? Was I better than I was the last time? So there's not one perfect thing. It's going to change depending on where you are. But look for, especially the people who loathe competition, look for something that's fun, that you just genuinely enjoy. And maybe the answer is not an individual competition. Maybe it's joining a team for um, who can raise money for a charity for a 5K race. It's not about competing for myself. It's not about you know showing up anybody else. I'm actually trying to do the best for someone else and for a greater cause than myself. I think that's actually particularly appropriate for women because women tend to be more concerned about a reputation of being competitive and it's easier for them to say that they'll fight for someone else. And, oh, I can't do that for me. Oh, I could do that for them. So having shifting the focus of competition off of yourself and to another organization or a team member may also be something that helps you express the competitive fire in a way you wouldn't have necessarily wanted to do it for yourself. 